Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. Recently, I reached the 3000 subscriber milestone. So thanks guys. Thanks a lot for that. Thanks to all my subscribers, the people that stuck around, the people that leave comments. You guys are awesome. And to celebrate, I wanted to do something different, do a different kind of video. Uh, I, was, I wasn't sure what to do, but I thought, why not do a homage to some YouTubers that I enjoy, because I'm also a bit of a watch collector. Not too many. I'm a, I'm a small collector of watches, but I like to watch these channels where watches are reviewed and uh, I think these channels are just amazing. So I'll post a link, a link's in the description below to those channels, uh, Urban Gentry, I like uh, what, just one more watch uh, and, and a few others. Uh, Anthony, what's his name, something. Anyway, you'll find the links in the description below but this is my collection of G-Shock watches by Casio, the uh, well, the famous manufacturer from Japan that uh, made all the uh, sort of iconic uh, calculators back in the '80s, as well as uh, uh, a lot of watches. And uh, throughout the years, I've collected a bunch of them, and uh, they're lying on my desk right here. But first, let's check the wrist the wrist watch check so to speak i'm wearing a psycho 5 sports automatic watch i got uh, off ebay and i put on a new leather strap so but it's a vintage psycho 5 i got this thing really cheap on ebay and it said in the ad that it didn't didn't run well or it stopped running after a while but um I've been wearing it all day, and so far it's still running. So I think the old gears are still spinning, and uh, wearing the whole thing, wearing the thing during the day just brought it back to life. So that's a positive story from eBay, actually. And uh, also the Psycho 5 is just a very iconic uh, watch. This is a diver watch. But anyway... Let's talk about the G-Shocks, and I just wanted to uh, talk about the pros and the cons of uh, having a G-Shock, or wearing a G-Shock, or having them in your uh, collection. Now, first, the pros. I mean, G-Shocks are iconic watches, iconic brand of Casio, uh, instantly recognizable, they mostly look like sport watches they are your average beater watch suited for everyday wear uh, mostly casual i think and the quality of the timepieces is very good great timekeeping very accurate so nothing to complain there depending on the model uh, some have some bells and whistles like uh, there are ones that have um, a solar, uh, they are solar powered. Um, I'm not sure if this one, yeah, this is a solar one, tough solar. There, some have GPS, um, atomic time. This one actually has Bluetooth, uh, so it, you can connect with um, an app on your phone to set the date and the time etc also most of the well all of them actually have very good battery life i mean they can run for years and years and to conclude the the pros the pricing is great mostly these watches are around the hundred dollar price point some below there are some really good deals you can find on the internet there are some models that are uh, more expensive, but usually you can get them for a fair price. What about the cons, okay? Well, you know, 
G-Shock watches. And I'm kind of surprised that I have so many because I, you know, I, I put them together right here and I'm like, oh, gee, I, I got quite a few actually. But they are not very stylish in a way that they're very adventurously designed. Um, they're either sort of round shaped like this one or square shaped like this one. And because these watches are quite large, especially the round ones, they are more suited for the larger wrists. Uh, they look kind of ridiculous if you have small wrists. So I wouldn't advise to do that. You just kind of look silly. Also, Casio and the G-Shock range aren't really for collectors. If you're collecting watches, this is kind of stupid. All these watches that I collected throughout the years uh, because um, well but I don't care really because collectors usually don't go for these kind of uh, watches they're not very elegant not very suited for formal clothing for that I would advise you something like this this is actually a Chinese watch an amazing piece actually Star King you can find it on AliExpress or Wish uh, there are some really amazing watches there, automatic watches as well. This this um, this goes very well with a suit, but a G-Shock I wouldn't advise to wear with a suit. It just looks kind of silly again. Uh, sometimes setting up these watches is kind of a pain because the but buttons to do that are kind of... Well, I hope you can see it, but they're very small and you need to press them for quite a long time. It's kind of a pain to set the time. Um, as you can see, very small buttons. Some have larger buttons, by the way, but it's sometimes a pain to, to set these up properly. What else? Well, you know, another con is that most of the G-Shocks offer kind of a same kind of experience or feel. It's it's really personal taste, really. If you, in my opinion, if you wear one uh, of these watches, you well, you basically know what you're in for. And uh, but they're all very comfortable, by the way. So that's a pro a pro that I forgot to mention. Uh, they are very comfortable. Uh, especially if you have, um, like me, uh, hairs on your arms and stuff, that, uh, you know, that's it's not nice to wear these metallic braces, uh, bracelets, but uh, this stuff is just really good for that. Um, let's see. Uh, some models of the G-Shock have a digital display, and... It's sometimes difficult to read the time uh, when in dark places. It's okay during the day, but not in full sunlight. But sometimes it can be hard to read those, those uh, digits. Like this one, as you can see, if you already have some um, reflection in it, then it's difficult to read the time. So yeah, it's a very tough watch, by the way. Uh, very durable. It's another pro that I forgot to mention. But most of these watches are just very sturdy. They won't scratch that much. They will resist dirt and water and that sort of thing. But the whole thing, you know, all these watches, they just can't shake that sort of cheap plastic uh, exterior or, or feel, you know. Um, although... Again, the materials are really sturdy, very good materials. It, it still looks kind of cheapish because uh, of the because it's sort of a plasticky looking material. Um, but overall, I think that you definitely need to have at least one of these in your watch collection. I do think that you should skip. The colored one, especially like this white one, um, I, I do like the fact that it's white, but as you can see, after extensive wear, you'll see some discoloration uh, on the material here, the bluish 
uh, stuff there. Uh, so it's it, it kind of gets a sort of a nasty look to it. So I definitely advise you to, if you are going to buy one, buy a black one. Also, um, what is my favorite one? You may ask, well... Oh, this one was like 10 bucks or something. Uh, it's not really G-Shock, by the way. It's just a Casio. But look at this. This, no, this, this brings back memories. This, this watch goes back to the 80s. Um, and it was worn by Michael J. Fox in the movie Back to the Future, if you remember that one. Just an amazing watch. Very light, very thin very cheap, like 10 bucks or something. It comes with a calculator that actually works, but it makes no sense nowadays because everybody has a smartphone nowadays. But still, it's very comfortable, just amazingly designed uh, watched watch. So, freaking awesome. Um, favorite one, actually, is this one. It's not that big. It's It has G-Shock protection, and I don't know, it's just, yeah, on my wrist, I really like it. I'm just going to try it on, on my other wrist. Wait for this. It will look like something like this. And, uh, yeah, it's just a, a great piece. I'm not sure which model this is. I have to look on the on the back. Usually I have a very, um, like, oh, here, here it is. DW5600E. E, that's the model. This one is just a classic one. The Illuminator, just an amazing looking uh, watch. Definitely advise if you're at least gonna invest in one, and you don't have large wrists, you should definitely get this one. Other than that, it's really up in the air. You should really make up your own mind about the G-Shock, but um, it's a great iconic watch so i've been rambling for quite a while now so i'll quit again thank you guys for watching my channel and uh hopefully you will stick around i will be doing more reviews and uh, other stuff so yeah that's coming up again thank you guys for watching and see you next time